Man, oh man, where do I begin with this video? What is going on everyone? Derek here today, bringing you a long awaited video, and you know, this isn't gonna be a vlog, this is gonna be an information, inform, informational video. Um, a lot of shit went down last month. Yeah, last month. Was it last month? All right guys, so you're watching this video right now. It's been about five to six days since I posted my last video. And the last video I posted, what was my last one? The last video I posted was the Terminator Cobra front end installation conversion. <laughs> and it's funny because things turned for the worse after that video. All right guys, so obviously you know that it is now Mustang week. And yes, we are here, but we're gonna get more into that in just a moment. So last month I set out a goal and it was to make it to Mustang week with blue with a ton of modifications. Right on the screen right here, I took a photo of the list I had, and you can kind of see it, but I crossed out everything as I did them. So you guys see right there, and if you want to pause it on that and read it, you can, but on the screen right there, the last modification I had to do before leaving for Mustang Week was installing a new exhaust. You guys clearly didn't see the Redo Blue episode on that, and there's a reason for that. So I will say that video is gonna be dropping here shortly. Um, like I said, I'm at Mustang Week, so I have to get this video out today. You're gonna get a double upload today if everything goes smooth. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the story. So if you guys are really interested to see what exactly this title and thumbnail have to do with, what the hell happened, what I've been going through, Sit back, relax, because I'm gonna tell you detailed, and I guarantee you this is one story you will never believe. So it all started, guys, last month. I made a list, you know, car had to get modified, and one of the biggest modifications I had to do was installing the Vortex supercharger, getting it tuned, so on and so forth. So, you know, we got it installed. You guys saw that installation video. Then we went to our first dyno day, and we were only able to rev out at about 5K RPMs due to the stock mass airflow sensor, and then, um, to make a long story short, I got a new one. I actually went back to the dyno, filmed all that. Again, you guys didn't see this video because um, of the events that happened leading to that. So that main modification was done and there was a bunch of little things and um, I got quite a few videos yet to release on some Redo Blue episodes. So, you know, if you see my car here, the car's finished ish right now, but I'm still gonna drop those videos for you guys. Fast forward to the last modification which was the exhaust. So that morning, woke up, started the car, car started right up perfectly fine. I drove to the exhaust shop, and while I got there, you know, I had to go inside, so I turned the car off, went inside, did what I had to do, and then we came back out to the car, I was given directions to start the car, pull it onto the lift. Went to start the car, the car wouldn't start. So I called my buddy Brad, he's like, my mechanic is a really good dude, he knows exactly what he's doing. And he said, while we were installing the Vortex system, he noticed that my crank sensor plug, like the pigtail plug, had no clip on it, therefore it wasn't clipping into the crank sensor. So he was like, mess with that a little bit, see what happens. So that's exactly what I did, I pulled it off, it went on super easy, it was totally broken, and you're gonna see that in that exhaust redo blue video. But nonetheless, the clip was broken, and it wasn't getting a solid connection to the crank sensor. So long story short, we messed with it, I got the car to start, we drove it onto the lift, and the exhaust installation began. While the exhaust was getting welded in, the mechanic said, just run to the store real quick, grab a new pigtail plug, and I'll install it for you. There's nothing really to it, you cut two wires, because it had a double connection, and you put the new plug on, solder it, tape it up, heat wrap, whatever the hell you want to do, and boom, you have a perfectly working clipping plug. So that's what I did, my grandfather came and picked me up, and again guys, you're gonna see all this in that Redo Blue episode, so I literally have proof of the story, it's, it's insane, at least to me it's insane, and to everybody in this house, because it's a miracle I'm here right now. So I get the plug, I give it to him, he wires it in, plugs it back into the crank sensor, and then it's time to leave. So at that point, we lower the car in the lift, and I tried to start the car, wouldn't start, wouldn't fire, it was not moving. I kid you not, I sat there for about a good hour, hour and a half trying to start it, and then, you know, it came to the point to where I had to call a tow truck. So not only did the car not start, I had to call a tow truck, and I waited three full hours for the tow truck to get there. Now this is the part of the story where shit gets absolutely crazy, and my heart got ripped in half. So really quick guys, before I go any farther into this story, I'm gonna throw a photo on the screen right now, and this is what my car looked like at the time at the exhaust shop. As you can see, blue was looking A1, so yeah, this is where my heart rips in half. So three hours later, tow truck arrives, and their main plan was to push the car off of the, off of the drive-on lift onto the tow truck bed. You know, it wasn't a bad plan, but the way they executed it turned completely ugly. You know, he told the tow truck dude to back up, and he backed up to the lift. I just sat back, 
and I watched it all go down. So the car was going rear first and then the front, right? Well, the Cobra bumper actually sits about three inches lower than a stock bumper and obviously I'm on bags and I was aired up all the way. For those of you wondering, I was aired up completely, as high as I can go. They started pushing the car, obviously the rear end made it perfectly fine, and then all I heard was, oh you're good, keep going. So they pushed it more, the front end grabbed the legs of the lift and completely destroyed the front end. Now I didn't film any of this because for one, it was a serious moment and I was just more worried of the fact and not in the right state of mind that the car wasn't starting, something was going on. I had to call a tow truck, it was three hour wait and you know at that point, I was over that day 100%, did not want to film anymore and that's exactly why that Redo Blue episode is not finished at the moment. So I was standing right there and that whole entire front end just got completely demolished. Now really quick guys, I'm gonna go ahead and um, turn up the music a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and put about three to four different photos on the screen to show you the damage and it was a doozy, but here they are. So yeah guys, that brand new Redo Blue episode that we did with the Terminator Cobra bumper, got destroyed. You know, after that happened, it was still on the tow truck, we towed it back to the house, we pushed it in the driveway, and honestly guys, that happened like the 26th, the 27th of last month, and Mustang week, we left Sunday, which was the first, I think. Don't quote me on that. So at that point, I figured we are screwed. Like, this car is done. And to be honest, many of you guys are gonna be like, dude, how pissed were you? Boils down to it, guys, it wasn't about how pissed I was, it was, I was very sad and just disappointed. It was like everything was fighting against me that month. You guys know I've been having so many problems from the fender to the whole front end getting torn apart and it just wasn't a good month for me and I really wanted to make it to Mustang Week with Blue because obviously me being a YouTuber, there's hundreds of you guys that want to see this car in person because you watch it on, you know, essentially TV. But you know, it was a, it was a bad time and um, ooh, baby girl made me eggs. Let me take a bite real quick. Thank you, lovey. Mm. Mm, that was good. Anyways, so it was a bad time, you know, and then I totally thought the car was done. I mean, wouldn't you? So with the fucked up bumper, I also had the car not starting and, you know, in my head it was really weird because the car wouldn't start, not even a little bit, ever since he put the new plug on, but we're gonna get more than that in just a second. So the front bumper's destroyed, that's when I posted that thing on Instagram. By the way guys, if you're not following me on Instagram, if you wanna see some lit ass content, early access stuff, go follow me at Derek Brand Productions. Hook your boy up. There was no like possible way I was gonna get a new bumper off eBay painted and delivered within three days because it actually took like a week and two days. So it just wasn't gonna happen. At that point, everybody was like, yo, throw the stock bumper back on. But to be honest with you, with that photo I just showed you, I'm gonna go ahead and throw it right here. That's not gonna happen. There's no possible way I can look at my car the same with a stock bumper. And that's besides the point. I've worked so hard to get the car where I wanted. I get it to where I wanted it, and it was destroyed by two people, not myself, so. So anyways guys, a complete miracle happened when I posted that photo on Instagram. A subscriber of mine that actually lives in Virginia said, dude, I used to have a new edge. I bought a Cobra bumper off of CJ Pony Parts, and I've never put it on the car. You know, obviously with him being in Virginia, I was like, okay, how much do you want for it? And believe it or not, the dude actually drove the bumper to my house and gave it to me for free. So, you know, as soon as I received that bumper, I was like, it's game time. We gotta get this shit going. All right guys, so obviously, you know we're in this predicament and it's not over quite yet. So, I decided I had this leftover bumper, so I decided to bring it out and let Derek see if he can uh, We're definitely, definitely gonna try it, man. So there's still hope, but um, this is an OEM bumper, you said, right? Yeah, from CJ Pony Parts. From CJ Pony Parts. I had it for three years sitting in my shed. It was, it was just sitting there collecting dust from my old New Edge when I was trying to repair it. Motor blew up. I just want to see it. You know put this in good use so once again guys the man the myth the legend Stuart came through painted the bumper and I cannot express to you guys late model restoration completely made Mustang week 2018 with blue two valve a hundred percent possible because not only did the bumper get fucked up on the car but that brand new Cobra lip I got completely destroyed cracked the fog light, ripped off the headlight assembly that you know your headlights sit in and the bumper two tabs go into, completely destroyed that. It scuffed up the headlights a little bit and you know it ripped the bulbs out and just completely really fucked up that front bumper. So LMR, I know you guys are watching this, thank you so much and my dog's trying to eat my eggs. But yeah, Tyler with LMR, LMR in general, everybody at LMR, 
Bro, really? Come on. I'm trying to tell a story. I want to thank you guys so much because, to be honest, if I didn't have you guys backing me like you have been, the car would be, one, nowhere near what it is now. And two, I would not be sitting right here making this video with my friends at Mustang Week with my car. And it's seriously incredible. LMR and Stuart, um, you guys really made this happen. And it's insane because... The car's out in the garage. I just got done washing it, and I think you guys are going to be pretty stoked on it. Anyways, guys, so that was with the whole front bumper um, dilemma. We got the front bumper replaced. Everything was okay after that. That took some time. But then, obviously, came our second hiccup, and that was the car not starting. And, you know, you need a car to start in order to drive it. So I'm going to say this one last time. I know I've been saying this a lot, but to make a long story short, when the guy installed that new pigtail on the crank sensor, he wired it in backwards. He put a blue wire to a white wire and a white wire to a blue wire. Therefore, the car didn't spark and that's what resulted in me spending about two to three hundred dollars on parts I didn't need. So that's what it was guys. That's what I've been dealing with. But let me remind you that was in like a week time span. The car looks great and we made it to Mustang Week 2018. So I wanted to give you guys that little story as to why I've been MIA. It's been grind, 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 and I got Andrew here that we're gonna tell you exactly some more stuff we've done, but you know, enough with the bad news, guys. We made it, Mustang Week 2018. We got our house, and you know, we gotta do a little house tour. Keep in mind, we just got here last night, so it's not immaculate, guys. You know, we were flinging ping pongs around. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go ahead Eat my eggs really quick. We're gonna pick this back up with a little house tour, show you the cars, and as soon as we're done with that, I'll give you guys a cool little update. What do you guys think? Should we start with the cars and move our way inside or out, inside the outside? By the way, we got baby girl right there. We got Andrew. We got Danny Peachy. <laughs> we got Duke too. He made it for the trip, didn't you, buddy? <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm actually gonna start from the outside and make our way inside. Um, it's pretty sweet, but I'll show you the setup. So I'm here outside the house, and it's gonna be a pretty cool little, you know, MTV Cribs, welcome, welcome. But yeah, starting off, this is the neighborhood. It's actually really, really tight. It's cool though. Here's our house, everyone. I don't like the yellow, it should be blue. Speaking about blue, here's a good old girl, and she is cleaned up, ready for the first meet, pre-meet, I should say, tonight at 5 p.m. We got Ramsey's 5-0 there, and inside the garage here, we got some other toys. See that? Every time you say toy, they open. It's pretty sick. But inside the garage, we got Dane's 2014 5.0, and then obviously we got Andrew's 2018 5.0. Garage is pretty spacious, I will say. This was blue spot. Holy shit, he's running dirty. This was blue spot, but we came into a really big problem. Um, this slant is pretty crucial, and the bumper was like that, like even with boards. So we're not gonna mess with that. I could park here perfectly. So this is gonna be blue spot. And guys, please, if anybody happens to come across the cars please be super respectful don't do anything to anybody's cars that you want to do to yours because i know mustang week a lot of people's cars do get damaged that way and it's just not cool so yeah guys there's the outside we're gonna go ahead and inside and it's like 60 degrees in here and it feels amazing here's the kitchen we were just in here little living room area this is where i just filmed the majority of the video it's pretty cool and this door leads to the outside so we can head upstairs door number one you know Nothing fun. Closet right here. Actually, before I open this door, let me know if you've ever seen anything like this in a house. Look at all these towels. We got a bedroom right here, and this is where Dane and Andrew sleep. They cuddle together. It's so funny though, like look at Dane's bed. It's like a crib. Shit's hilarious. And they got a walk-in closet as well. It's pretty sick. And coming back out here, I think this is their bathroom, if I'm not mistaken. You know, pretty self-explanatory. Hey, Derek. Balcony and Ray and I's room is right here. And again, guys, it's kind of messy, but this is our room. Platinum flat screen TV. Comfy ass bed though, I will say. You know, here's our bathroom. Hello again, Derek. Dope shower. Actually gonna use that here shortly. And we got a walk-in closet as well. Just pretty sick. I actually need to unpack my bags. So I got a lot to do. But yeah, as for the house, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, nothing too crazy. There's only six of us staying here. And you know, we don't really need anything crazy for just six people, but it's perfect. It's brand new. They literally just built this too, which is awesome. And my favorite experience is this right here. Dude, come here. Come here, come here. <laughs> this is the first time my dog has ever experienced steps, and it's fucking hilarious. Come on. He takes it slow going now. I need to bust his chin up. <laughs> go, go, call him, call him, call him. Oh. Duke. Duke, come here, come here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. <laughs> yeah, guys, so anyways, that's the story with my car. 
Sounds like he's tap dancing. And I also said I have something really cool to tell you guys. I'm actually starting daily vlogging while I'm here in Mustang Week. And I'll show you how committed I am. You know it gets serious when you leave the laptop at home and you bring your whole iMac here to Mustang Week. So this is my little editing station. It's perfect. As Andrew just said, dude, if I want a snack, I'm gonna get myself a fucking snack. Speaking about snacks, let's show him my epic fail for the day. Your boy needed some brews. I kind of messed up. Are you kidding me? Show him your hand to it. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna speak any more about that. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. The story, the daily vlogging news, and you know, the crib here at Mustang Week. Plan on seeing and meeting a bunch of you guys, so if you do see me here, come say what's up. If you wanna look at Blue, if I'm around there, I don't mind, you can sit in it, whatever. But yes, Blue officially made it, guys. I can't thank you enough for your support. Again, LMR, Stuart, thank you so much for coming through. Honest to God, this is, this is so exciting for me. It's actually my first week ever at Mustang Week. Last year, I came from Wednesday to Sunday, but I'm actually here from Sunday to Sunday now, and it's I'm so excited that cool content for you guys and just have a great time with everybody here so with that guys that's gonna be today's video today's video I think I'm gonna be posting you know one of the daily vlogs tonight or early tomorrow morning we'll see thank you guys again for watching remember if you enjoyed make sure you drop a like drop a comment any questions or concerns if you want to say what's up that's cool too and today's EBP vlog shout out is actually going out to Ramsey Dane and Andrew their Instagrams are on the screen right there as you just saw make sure you go follow them on Instagram we're gonna have a fucking blast here at Mustang Week I can't wait oh yeah one more thing and if any of you guys want to chance want to shout out on the vlogs make sure you follow me on Instagram at Derek Brand Production and use hashtag DBP smoking all your posts as you guys know every time I film a video such as this one I go to hashtag I see who used it and boom shout out anyways guys I gotta get going I have a lot to do we have a meet at five if you're watching this video I I'm successful right now at posting it. I need to get it posted ASAP. So with that, guys, I'm going to leave you with the daily vlogs. I hope you enjoyed. Remember, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe. About to see that boosted blue two valve around here. Anyways, guys, again, thank you so much for watching. But until next time, we'll see you later. Blow up. Blow up. I don't even understand how the fuck my plug talk.